Hello everyone, I'm Spike Dill Productions. Today I'm going over the Transformers Beast Wars uh, Fox Kids repaint of Dinobot. This was actually my one of my very first uh, Beast Wars toys that I ever owned. Like, the one that wasn't a Happy Meal toy, because I have the uh, Dinobot from the line. But, um, uh, yeah. Pretty much, this is my very first Beast Wars figure. Let's get a closer look at details. So, for detailing, he has a very his he trans he's a very Jurassic Park Velociraptor. He has green eyes. Um, uh, he's molded in a uh, tan plastic with a brown accent with the with red striping all over his uh, body. Here's the uh, top view. N nice uh, scaly detail, although this is not accurate to how an actual Velociraptor looks. Um, articulation in robot mode. He has uh, ball-jointed arms. His mouth can open and close. If you want to, you can use this as a head rotation. Head you can look up and down if you really want to make him do that. And uh, his tail can rotate at the base. For a uh, size comparison in uh, Beast Mode, I'm actually going to have to pull out another one of my Beast Wars figures. Gears. Um, uh, hold on. Let me just transform him off camera real quick to get him into his... Uh... One problem I have with this figure is that Dinobot that his tail always falls off. Oh yeah, he also has leg articulation, but um, uh, yeah. Sorry. His tail just keeps on dropping. Anyways, let me get um, uh, Slapper into his uh, beast mode. So here he is next to a uh, Predacon from the Beast Wars line. I forgot his name. I forget his name at the top of my head, but he's a frog. I think he's meant to be a poison dart frog, but this guy was also repainted into a Maximal. So there's that. Next size comparison we have is the Kingdom Megatron, which I'm not even gonna bother putting him into his um, uh, T-Rex mode. Uh, but let me know if you guys want a video on this guy in the uh, future. So, now on to uh, transformation for Dinobot. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove the tail. And then we're gonna come to the back and we're going to flip up his dino butt. This will give us more uh, room to work with. Um, uh, next, we can, uh, we are going to want to fold down the legs and rotate them to get them into robot mode position. Stand him up. His arm popped off. Sorry about that. Rotate the uh, sec these sections. This one's always been a little loose on my copy of the figure. Fold down the head. Rotate the head around. Then rearrange the uh, arms to uh, support uh, these uh, back areas. And then we're going to want to fold down and twist around 
the legs to become robot mode arms. And then we're going to uh, split open the tail and remove the sword and we're just gonna set these accessories off to the side. So here's Dinobot in robot mode. He has a little bit more articulation now. So his head can now make a 300, full 360 degrees. He can look up somewhat and can't really look down. He can rotate at the shoulders and it can go in and out. His claws can open and close. He can bend at the elbow. And then he has ball jointed, his legs are on a ball joint. And then he, he can bend at the knee and he has a bit of foot possibility. For accessories, he has his cool sword, which you can just put into his hand like so. And then, and then in his other hand, you can put in his uh, Velocirotor blades and uh, these can spin. So yeah, now let's say. Of course, it does sort of make him a little top heavy. So most of the time, whenever I do have him transformed, I, oh, I flip out the uh, back piece right here, and then I just reinsert the tail. So that way I don't have to worry about the uh, tail falling off. Of course, you can also open it up, like how the Dinobot's Grimlock portrays it. So I'm just gonna do that. For size comparison, we'll bring in the Frog Predacon again. But this time, I'm actually going to transform him on camera. Just fold out the flippers, rotate the arms back, flip down the legs, stand him up, rotate these parts down, and then fold up the arms. And of course, just like in uh, frog mode, you can make his head pop up. So here he is. Here's Dinobot next to this frog Predacon. Here he is next to Kingdom Megatron. Here he is next to the Funko Pop. Eve and Wally, the original Funko Pops of these two from the uh, Disney line. They uh, stand pretty well next to him. Next up, we got the uh, DJ Rex uh, Funko Pop. Looks pretty good, though not in scale. Here he is next to a tiny, tiny turbo changer scorn, which is very simple to transform. There we go. Here he is next to scorn. Yeah, very tiny. Just gonna turn him back into his dinosaur mode now. And just like with all my recent videos, here he is next to G1 Spike. So that's pretty much it for the review on the Transformers Beast Wars Fox Kids repaint of Dinobot. If you want to see more Transformers videos, let me know in the comment sections down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!